With 1.4 billion pounds of bacon being consumed each year in the US in food service alone, high-speed blade slicers like this one are needed to make the process quick and efficient, and they can slice products such as pepperoni and bacon at speeds of 2,000 RPM. To ensure safety, every jet turbine engine has to be rigorously tested before it even gets to be installed on the wing. And usually, testing of a jet engine takes up to two years and includes one test where 4.5 tons of water a minute is poured into an engine, and it must keep running in order to pass. And the machinery involved for testing is at another level. The NX engine, running at high thrust, it swallows every drop without even a hiccup. And when the weather gets cold, the engine faces hours of testing under an icy spray. Even if the ice builds up, the engine can still shed it through the flow path without stalling. In order to make fair, equal, and perfect slices, a bread cutting machine is used, and they range from sizes and shapes. From a small bread slicer mainly used at bakeries, to factory bread slicers that work 24 hours a day. Korkmaz is a Turkish company that makes steel kitchenware, and they showed inside their 100,000 square feet facility, in which over 10 million household appliances are produced annually. And well, over 90% of the work is done by some brilliantly programmed robot arms and other machines. To make a skinless sausage, cellulose casings are often used. And well, the problem is that they're not edible. This is the Peeler 2800, and it's a high-speed accurate removable of inedible casings from cooked and chilled sausages. This is a full-line poultry convenience food processing facility. With a constant meat flow, it has a production capacity of up to 17,000 pounds an hour. Diamonds are some of the hardest materials on Earth. So machines like this integrate a water jet guided laser technology to cut them. This is the cutting of the 813 karat diamond found in Botswana that ended up selling for a staggering 63 million at a Sotheby auction in London. With mesh has many uses in industrial and manufacturing processes and the process of them being made is incredibly satisfying. When a Chick-fil-A was struggling with keeping up with demand, they decided to use technology to expand their kitchen and built a conveyor belt to let the food travel without the need of workers running around. The manufacturing of bricks is not as complicated as it seems. It's basically mixing ground clay such as shield with water that then goes to an extrusion machine that makes a sort of paste that goes through a rectangular opening to shape the paste. And well, then the bricks are stacked by a machine and taken to dry, then to a giant oven that bakes them at 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. And well, this entire process used to be done by hand in ancient times. Degrees Celsius. That's almost 2000 degrees Fahrenheit. If you feed this machine a continuous dough band, it'll be able to make reliably 24,000 croissants per hour. It's known that metal dust exposure can cause harmful effects, and in a construction site, Things like metal shavings get everywhere. This giant magnet has the ability to pick up most of the metal dust. Chocolate is one of those things that looks like the process behind it was relatively simple, but there's a ton of machinery and work involved. And it all starts with cocoa beans, which are refined by winnowing and roasting.
Then it goes to several machines that takes the product into a heating and melting process, turning into chocolate liquor. And well, even though it looks absolutely delicious, if you ate it, it wouldn't be tasty or rich in flavor. That's why the next stage is mixing it with sugar milk, among other things, to add flavor. Finally, it goes into heating and melting again, and in many cases, butter is added in the process. And then it's all about molding and packaging. To clean rusty metal, PowerLays created a handheld tool that uses laser technology to restore the metal in just seconds. Linear friction welding is a process in which one part moves in a linear motion at high speed and is pressed against another part held stationary, and the resulting friction heats the parts, causing them to forge together. The LF3575 is the largest tooling envelope of any linear friction welder in the world, and the machine weighs more than a Boeing 737 plane. And while it's used mainly for aerospace and the automotive industry, an astonishing fact is that LEGO makes around 36 billion pieces a year, which if we divide by 365, comes to 125 million pieces a day. And it's also incredibly rare to find a LEGO set with a missing part or a badly molded one, which means good quality control despite making 5 million pieces an hour. This is what it looks like inside of a LEGO factory, and basically there's plastic granulate being fed down a labyrinth of long pipes into this injection molding machines, in which they are dyed and molded. Every machine produces LEGO elements 24-7. In order to make ravioli for industrial selling, it's made by a machine designed and built for demanding use, with production up to 730 pounds an hour for double sheet ravioli. And well, the cost of a machine like this are in tens of thousands of dollars. A not-so-known fact is that coffee beans are actually just seeds, so they had to be dried, roasted, and ground before they can be used to brew what we know as coffee. This might not be the most satisfying footage to watch, but this is how hot dogs are made, and that paste-looking stuff is emulsified meat trimmings of chicken, beef, or pork, blended with other ingredients, such as preservatives, spices, and coloring. 